everybody. Hey, just wanted to pop in. It's been a while since I've uh, been live and it seems like I always decide to do these right after I've been to the gym and you get my uh, sweaty Betty hair. <laughs> but hey, I was just kind of thinking of something today as I was reading through um, some posts and, and wanted to share this with you uh, in terms of what is the most important tool really that you need to be successful um, in your diet? And the answer is actually pretty simple. The most important thing you need really is a good old food scale. And I know some of you be like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to weigh my food or whatever. But yet at the same time, there's a lot of people that are using, you know, tracking apps like MyFitnessPal um, and things like that to, you know, track um, what they're consuming. And if you aren't weighing your food, I promise you, promise you, promise you, promise you, you're getting it wrong. Um, because if you actually measure out, you know, what three to four ounces of chicken is, it's probably a lot less than what you think. A hundred grams of a baked potato, I assure you, is way less than what you think it might be. So if you're using the tracking apps, but not really, you know, weighing and knowing what it is you're eating, you might as well not even be tracking because it's not really doing you any good. Um, and I'm really trying to move away from that um, with my clients in terms of using those tracking apps because it really just kind of becomes another form of, you know, diet prison, so to speak, that you're having to drag around this app, um, you know, and keep track of everything. Hey guys, thanks so much for popping on. Good to see you. Um, so really when it boils down to it, you know, there's a lot of different quote diet modalities that are out there. Um, and all of them involve a lot of tracking, whether it's using my fitness pal, um, or the other, you know, big one is the, if it fits your macros, um, plan right now, which, uh, I've been there, done that, tried it. I'm not a proponent of it. Um, basically that's a diet where you can eat whatever you want as long as it fits into your, uh, macros in terms of your proteins, your carbs and your fats for the day. Um, but let's not get it twisted that all, you know, calories and macros are created the same because if you're trying to figure out a way, like how I can tweak my macros so that you can eat a bowl of Captain Crunch for breakfast every day and that you can have a Snickers bar in the afternoon. Um, you're getting calories, but you're not getting any nutrition. So, you know, the, the calories that are coming from real whole food are much different than what's coming from all of the packaged and processed stuff that's out there. Um, so again, not a proponent. And again, it's a lot of labor to go through and track all of those things. So in simplest terms, if you're aware you know, really of your portion size, that's really the biggest key. Um, you know, especially in North America, we have a very, very warped perspective on what portion is. And when you start really, you know, measuring it out and getting a feel for that, it's very, very eye opening. And it's important though, because if you're overestimating even 10% all the time, that adds up pretty quickly. You know, if you're, eating, you know, 10% over every day, you're not going to lose weight because obviously to lose weight, you have to be in a calorie deficit. And you may think that you are when you're actually really not um, because of that portion size. So again, biggest number one tool, get yourself a handy dandy food scale. Doesn't have to be fancy. I think I got mine at like Target for 15 bucks. Um, pretty much every big box store has them now, so they're not too hard to come by. Um, so dial that in for a little bit. See, you know, for me, what is two tablespoons of peanut butter? Really? Like, I have a wish bias that it's much, much bigger than what it really is. A serving is not a jar, Sherry. Step away. Step away. <laughs> um, so it is, it's really a, a great tool, very easy to do, uh, and is one very, very kind of simple thing that you can do to get a handle on where you're at. So hope you are all having a great day. Take care. Thank you, everybody, for popping on. Great to see you here. Uh, and get out and enjoy the rest of the day. Much love. Bye-bye.